Hello everybody, this is Dr. Obsidian, and thank you for joining me today. I am playing Endless Space 2 with Jim, aka the Cravers. But he may not be the Cravers later, so we have to be careful what we call him. What do you say, Jim? Yes, good God! What are they good for? Absolutely nothing! <laughs> You don't like cats. <laughs> uh, they have their moments. Yeah, that they do. They uh, definitely can get us into uh, trouble when we're trying to record something when they bite you on the foot. <laughs> Alright. Inside joke. I had to edit that out so that no one could hear it. Alright. Anyway, we are starting a new game here. We are going to make a pretty big game. We haven't played this in quite a while. It had to be at least a year. Maybe more. So we're going to try, even though I haven't touched this game in, since, you know, that time. I'm going to try to remember everything as I go. Because we're just a couple of filthy casuals. Alright, uh, I'm going to customize... Either you are with us, have to... or you are our fodder. We're going to have to customize the faction here. Uh, let's see... All right, right now I'm running as the Cravers. And, uh... I may just... Imperials as my visual affinity. Okay. The last time I ran the Cravers, they were pretty fun. This group, I, uh, this is one I set up before. Home Planet Terran Governance Federation. The Federation gives us, uh... Political representation, plus one system colonization before orbiter colonization penalty. And then uh, we are militarists. Uh, political opinion, more impacted by military events. Military opinion. We are virtuous. Oh, here we go. Oh, here, Virtuous. Virtuous gives us, uh... What is this? The... I forget what that one is. I think it supports the flower. <laughs> Spirit, uh... And devotion only matters when serving a true benevolent good. We're good. We are xenophobic. Which means, uh... Good. We're xenophobic. Yeah. Jeez. We are extreme foremen, which means we deplete planets 150% on undepleted planets, plus one depletion point per turn. So we rip planets in half, but we do have planet menders. So not only do we rip planets, but we slow down ripping planets, so that's good. And we're prodigious, prodigious collectors, which means that... Uh, yeah, we good. We're focused on collecting and harvesting stuff. That's what we are. Uh, we're also the gene hunters. I don't remember what gene hunters do. We splice genetic material of other factions to enhance its population. Oh, okay, we're splicers. Yeah, we can go with this one. I think this is the one that gets really good resources. We also have uh, amateur executives, which means our trading is not as good. We have big fleets, which means we get more fleets, and cheaper per ship for upkeep. We can jam more people on planets. We don't get penalized so much for overpopulation. We have fearless warriors. We uh, better about colonizing and we are sowers, which means, uh, oh, we have sowers on our home system, which Reduces depletion points on planets, so we actually don't deplete planets if we get sowers on our home system, I think. So... <laughs> oh, this is the one that uh, we get to where I set it up so that we don't deplete planets at all. Because we heal them as much as we deplete them. But we get bonuses for depleting this faction name is probably already set up. Oop, you're about to exit without saving this. Yeah, we're not going to save anything here. 
All right, we're the Evan Plague. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> this is awesome. They got an option here called Methodists. <laughs> Just trying to figure out why they have Methodists but not Lutherans or Presbyterians. Because nobody cares about those people, right? <laughs> or Lutherans. Maybe the developer was a Methodist. For everybody that is out there thinking we just uh, insulted like half the uh, Christian faith, <laughs> or at least I did, it's just a joke. <laughs> I respect all Christians of all colors and faiths and whatever they're... Uh, beliefs are and non-christians right. as well I haven't, I haven't bought my traits yet but i did get my uh population and my uh faction set up finally what's your population my population are industrialists okay utopian adept workers as a bonus and hardened dwellers as a bonus all right um let's see uh we don't have Industrialists? Is that the uh, race they're kind of leaning towards? Was the which ones were the industrialists? Politics. Do you remember what they are? Politics. Riftborn. I'm looking Unfallen. At it. Oh, initially. Yeah. I don't know. I'm 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 homebrewing this deal. Sofans. I don't remember. Um, but it's it has to do with industry. Oh. So. All right, let's see. one's hardcore. Riftborn, United Empire, Horatio, The Unfallen. I think we have all those. We even have a couple of my... Here, the Vodiani. I don't think we have those guys, though. All right. My home planet is Terran. Do we have vaulters? I don't think we do. So the government is autocracy. And my uh, gameplay affinity is celestial vines. Oh, you like that? All right. Okay, I think I'm ready to start. I just got to get my traits. All right, there we go. Huh, I was having some weird issue with me uh, in the video here. All right, uh, so we have finished making the factions. You saw what mine is. And uh, Jim has gone with the neck beards. <laughs> it's not exactly their name. <laughs> oh, the white beards. All right, you heard a little bit about them, so we're just going to jump into this. Uh, you're ready to go? Ready to go. All right. 30 seconds how exciting yeah click to start click chatting click the ready yeah there that sped it up your last chance to stop it what a satisfying sound yep ding 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 my guys are uh, xenophobic um Corruption Plague. They're called the Ebon Plague for a reason. They're expansionist, big <laughs> fleets, militaristic. They hate other races. They tend to like to just splice their genes with them. You know, like the Romans do, like adopt other cultures to be stronger themselves. And uh, they... It's like a diplomatic nightmare. They tend to be uh, focused on sustainable development, which is kind of weird. Rather than just depleting systems and like tapping them out, they go for sustainability. Because they, they're looking at the long game here. They are a federation, so they, you know, get along with other members of their own people somewhat. 
and they don't mind working with uh, other countries in an effort to destroy them. For as long as they can remember, the Hive has waged endless war. Born, or rather bred, in the labs of the Endless, as a relentless bioweapon, peace is not a concept they understand. You have been locked too long on one planet, however, and your homeworld will soon be consumed. To avoid extinction, you must strike out from your birthplace and devour the galaxy. If we don't go extinct. All right. It's been a long time uh, since I played this game. You know, we got all these curiosities to uh, investigate too. Um, we have our colonization ship, as I recall, and we have our ships that can uh, run around and do stuff. All right. Homeworld partially depleted, depleted in seventy-five turns, but. Um, we do have the uh, sowers there, which <laughs> return some of the uh, penalty. So chance to increment, I guess, is adding to it. There we go. There's our planet. Um. I think we're going with drone network for now. Probably should be exploring uh, our own system before we strike out and do anything else, I think. Um, as far as colonizing, we can't colonize anything else. There's a life form here, ruins, uh, some signal. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Oh, we have two of these probes. Okay, so we can do one more. Maybe a life form? Signal, I think we're gonna check the signal. Oh. There we go. Population of remnants. Industrialists. That's the guys that you like. Gotta be able to make stuff. Yeah. They add some uh, ability to do stuff on this planet a little faster. Buff our system industry of just a little bit all right we're gonna keep our ships here so we don't get our stuff destroyed all right research um hyperion boy it's been a long time to see this stuff utility <laughs> Plus 25 for system level if we cultivate. And we didn't want to grow our population, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We have an unassigned hero. He's a militarist. Tends to be good at uh, focused on system resource output and uh, command. So he's good at fleets. He's also good at systems. So we'll assign him to our home system right now, I think. You're up. I need to research still.
so we don't need that stuff. Are you ending turn? It says it's ending turn. It should okay, be. There we go. Cannot afford one probe. Well, that's pretty pathetic. All right. <laughs> We're just starting out. Yeah, but it doesn't. Oh, I think yeah. it takes a while to regenerate the probes, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, there's he... a function where you can just hit the button and it'll put you to sleep and it'll wake you up when the probe comes back. Yeah. All right. We're just going to send our boy out to explore. Well, he did find something already. Bunch of garbage. Okay, he's on his way. If we splice... Which we can't do yet, because we need uh, a cloud resource to do. But we get our gene splicing effects, which gives us that depletion per planet for our main guys, which we want. So, and you can just hang out here right now. Okay. Colonizable medium atoll has binary moons and hyperium, which is kind of nice. Turn the corner here. We'll send our ship down there too. Start thinking about colonizing. Construction complete. Either build a cerebral reality, which gives us more science, which is kind of nice. But I think we're going with another scavenger. See what he's got. Okay, got a lot of guns, which is kind of nice early on, I guess, because he can do something with them. Support module gives him extra movement. He's pretty good. I think we'll take him. Pupa is missing a front slot, but we don't really need any guns or anything like that. Good to go. I am good to go. Check 
chapter one of our own BR. <laughs> Bending objective choice. All right, research complete. We're going to probably go after Hyperium. Since we're getting a planet with it on there. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. Braver scouts in the Great Beyond have pinged the homeworld about a mysterious ship harassing our forces. This wouldn't be out of the ordinary except for one thing. It's one of ours. Braver ships do not turn against their own kind. We must take action. Killing a craver, even a hostile one, is a blow against the hive. And uh, we can trap and declaw the vessel, crush the craver, use a fleet attack. We have to put a fleet in orbit and then guard, or use the attack when the fleet orbits the same system and destroy it. If we destroy it. We capture it, we get 60 super sub buds. If we destroy it, we get 50 hyperium. We're gonna destroy it. Break their spine, hurl it into the uh, burning into the nearest world. Be ready to scavenge the remains. Sounds good to me. This is your solo quest? Yeah. My solo quest has people who used to be a part of the Empire now bushwhacking me. And I have three options. I can either locate them for a daily slogan award, which is just a, uh, a food improvement on the planet. Or I can bribe them, which gets me a random technology. Or I can reach 800 uh, mil military person capacity, which gives me Punisher drives. Which is plus 10% damage on ships. Pretty so nice. Gonna, we're gonna intimidate. Poor deposit of Hyperium. Um, we have an outpost here, so merchants and money. I think we got plenty of money to do this. Go ahead and do that. Speed up colonization a bit there. Can't do much about the gas giants right now. Um, in hot hospitals, oh. large des deserts are kind of nice if you research it. Gas giants are cash money to me. Oh, we got steps, arid, and ice. Those aren't too bad for our home world. I get plus five food production for uh, um, minor faction citizen on gas giants. A hospital, a dry planet, rich in natural resources, Billigi Geli served as the base for the endless research stations. For better or worse, this fact is given an important mythos. Billigeli, we found a... Yeah, where's Billigeli? Right there. It's small, though. Found the record replay module. Plus one star, uh, which is probably experience, right? Per destroyed command point. That's not bad. Yes. Uh, atmospheric curiosity, high chance of anomalies, low chance of loot. People will throw one at them. Single moon. Earn influence based on destroyed ships. Use it if you want. If you think you'll destroy ships and want to receive influence after the battle. Okay.
couple ice planets there. I guess if I'm trying to figure out where you are, um, you know we're in this like kind of a spiral galaxy. I can check my constellation. Yeah, I mean I don't know where your constellation is, but I can tell you like I'm I'm just south of the center. Just south of the center? Yeah. Alright, so then you see that like a little pinwheel arm that goes down and then curves to the right? That's where I am. Yes, me too. Where are you but in that you're, pinwheel? You're just south of the center. I'm I'm like Way out on the arm? Like, you see where it starts to dissolve and become a little faded at the end? Yep. I'm just before that. Okay. You're going to run into me and I'll just contain you back there and win. Okay, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like they ever, ever invented something called hyperdrives. Yep. All right. Plus one per planet. Per person per planet or health on fleet, hot systems. This is pretty good too, plus 10 food per planet. Yeah, let's go with that early on. Horse labor cravers. Horse labor. Yeah, we're not going to mess with his ship, though. He should just sit there for now. Oh, that ship is coming in, though. He may need to uh, upgrade his ship. He's got a lot of junk on it. He's got a basic shield. These are not open to us, I guess. Oh. Oh, we can drag it down there. Um, basic plasma shielding. Or we can add hull. Let's add hull there. And maybe we could do support. Now he can actually scan stuff too, if we send him out. I right, remember how to make him depart on his ship. Since hero assigned to the system back to the academy. Yeah, that's probably... Oh! Wait a minute. You can't launch him from the uh, planet, right? You have to send him to the academy and reform. Or can you just tell him to uh, take off? You remember? Uh... How I understand it... Because he does have a ship. If you have a... Or will he join the fight when they show up? When you click on the fleet, they don't have like a Q plus option to click on? Oh, I mean like if I go to the system? Yeah, you have your ship sitting on the... Uh, on I don't the have any ships there because he's uh, just the governor. You want to... Oh, then I'm pretty sure you can't do it. I think you have to have a ship there. Uh, okay. Well, I'll have a ship in a couple turns. I think you can separate him from the fleet after you uh, bring him out, but I think you need a fleet to bring him out. Let's see what this... This may be my quest coming in that we have to destroy. Tundra? All right, let's take a look what we got to colonize here. We have arid steps and ice. So we have tundra, Mediterranean, cold, savanna, arid. There's arid. Steps. Snow, this is probably the way we want to go. Xenobiology. I research these two. Mediterranean, okay. We'll go ahead with that for now.
All right, yeah, we do have a uh, ship here. Is this guy coming? I saw him like pinging out there. He's not coming. He's just kind of hanging out. All right, well, if he's not going to show up yet. Cold hot planets. Temperate, cold, this temperate, hot. So we have a couple of hot and cold, but we're not colonizing them just yet. With strategic deposits on the planet, we don't even know what we have there. I guess uh, this is a. The strategic deposits are not the uh, trade ones, right? They're the uh, like Hyperium and stuff. Strategic, as far as I know, are the ones you need for, like, building ships and guns and stuff. Like Hyperium and everything. Yeah, and then Luxury Deposits. Yeah, Luxury is the other one, okay. Well, we can build a Pupa, probably. Or another Scavenger. Go with this way. Minor new civilization discovered. Start negotiations. I don't think we can even do anything other than kill them. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we don't like people very much. Probably should have used him to investigate our home worlds there, but it's okay. Oops. Oh, it's all right. Pioneer of the Void. this little path down here too sitting up there blocking us that's the ship that we got to kill to blocks us off from where we need to go am i right you know i'm right sorry i'm doing math right now what math yeah i'm uh <laughs> i've already got a marketplace I don't have any real resources yet, so I'm have to buy them when they're cheap. Public private partnerships isn't too bad. I'll probably queue that up.
Yeah, as I recall in the game, they have like a ship that kind of prevents you from expanding, right? It's like sitting there blocking your way until you can build a fleet to go kill it. Kind of keeps you contained, if I, as I recall. That's not cool. Don't you remember that? No. Oh. Your starting mission, I think they have like a ship that just sits on a system and won't let you through. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's the pirate system, too. Scan our stuff here. Life form? Whoops. And high chances of anomalies. Atmospheric and ruins. We'll scan the ruins next. What did that do? Expedition failed. I don't like that tone of voice. <laughs> Tell me my expedition failed. Your expedition failed. So far, no titanium, no hyperium. Spica, we can see you. Right, what do you got over there? Large ash. Large desert. Yes. Small arid. Small Mediterranean. Kind of out in the boonies, too. Well, it is space. Can we... I uh, forget how to leave your your uh, space lanes. You gotta have... Um, you have to, to fly, research. To fly not using the space lanes? Yeah. Yeah, that takes one of the drives. Okay, now you gotta put it on the ship too, right? Um, I want to say no. Okay. I can't remember perfectly well, but I want to say that's a little douchey. <laughs> okay. So uh, I want to say no, that we didn't have to actually... I thought that was like an automatic upgrade or whatever. Okay. Well, we're going to need to find that hyperdrive. Uh, it's probably going to be... Right under this area. Shielding... Surveillance, survival suits. Shielding. Bishop class. I do remember it being like some kind of warp drive. But I don't remember where it was. I want to say it was in the uh, right quadrant, but I don't remember either. No, that's finance. Oh, here we go. Unlocks free movement for all ships. This under bari Baryonic Shielding, level 2 of the uh, tree for science and exploration. Well, which makes sense, I guess. No research. All right. We're going to research that then. All right. 
our first colony has been established. That was fast. Yeah, we're... We like to eat people. Like, and not in a good way for them either. We're gonna overpopulate here pretty soon. Almost depleted our planet. That's not good, but that's what we do. We deplete. and experience. Yay! Strange fossils. And some production increase. Or, uh, science there, so that's nice. Finally found some Hyperium, but I don't see any titanium yet. Yeah, I don't see any either. I still have a few things to research. We have a ship that's not sure what to do yet. Well, we'll send our other probe north, I guess. And then he can uh, just pass that turn. start looking for titanium as well yeah we can go over there now all right might as well do that Smart T repair bots. Health bonus on ships. That's pretty nice. That's a gonna need a um, titanium though. The survey looks like that the ecologists are in the lead. That's not a good thing, is it? to there. We would like to eat our sowers eventually here, but I don't think we can. Sower law. Oh, okay. If we can, oh, if we consume them, that's good. Maybe we'll just consume them. Or do we want Oh, uh, gain favor. We could just splice them. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to remember the tech that allows you to move people from planet to planet, but citizens, would you? Uh, um. 
I've tried to use the search engine and tried like spaceport and things like that, but I failed. I feel like it was under Empire Development. Well, I was looking on the wrong side then. It was, wasn't it a building that allows you to move them? Yeah, it's... I thought it was a building. You, you don't make it yourself. I think it's just an automatic improvement. Okay. Oof. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm not sure. I'm looking around. I don't think it's under trade and economy. Pretty sure it's not in our military. It's either science and exploration, then. Maybe it's one of the, uh, like the the level bonuses. Oh yeah, I forgot about those too. Okay, we're just gonna have to find out the hard way then. Yeah. Gonna leave that ship right there. You've already gained your level. Hey, the industrialists are gonna win because I'm an autocracy. It could happen. It will happen. You say these things, you forget that the ebon plague is on your doorstep. <laughs> it's not that we want to eat you, it's just that, like, you look delicious. It's the beards. Yeah, that's what I said. All right. Cooperative quest started. Rumor of the Academy. So backtrack the past years by exploring five atmospheric curiosities. All right. I'm game for that. Get started. Life form, atmospheric curiosity. Uh-oh. We got a pincer. Nice. We'll return that to the home world there. Um, life form, subterranean, atmospheric curiosity. Behemoth song and influence. There's a lot of good stuff on this system here. Wow, look at all that. Well, he's going a long way. He's probably going to your land. Alright. It is what it is. We'll colonize your territory soon enough. <laughs> I thought we were working together. What are you talking about? Yup. We're xenophobic. Yup. We don't trust you. Building on yep. our doorstep like you do. Colonizing Arid would be nice. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Hey, did I get first place? Are you red? Yeah. You got first place. New objective. Explore the three indicated systems of the fleet in order to find the academy and visit its leader. What are these indicated systems? doesn't really show me I think you have to explore 
What do you think this is? Some kind of exploration based game? What are you talking about? Hard to say. All right. Small Mediterranean. Well, the good news is uh, our guys don't deplete like before. Hey, he's got actual uh, improvement here. Hydro hydropelagic life. Life under the sea. Under the sea. All right, we got a fertile and a bunch of sterile in here. Um, we got a uh, bunch of hot here. All right, so hot might be good for sustainable farms. Plus three. It might be turn this into a uh, production planet too. Um, plus ten per planet, per temperate, and per fertile. That's the only one planet there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go interplanetary transport network. sit there for now doesn't have any probes yet we're coming to visit you don't worry we're gonna help you uh, scout your systems probably oh joy that's all you need is a, a craver in your system helping you say we're here to help you uh, dirty scoundrels We want loot on your systems. We would like loot. Anomalies, luxury research, strategic. Yeah, we'll scan. I have couple. just met Saint Neul of the Vadiani. One of the planets in the system at first appears to be lifeless and poor in resources. A second scan at a higher power reveals that the entire planet is a hologram, and in fact, there's something hidden beneath the cleverly camouflaged ca uh, surface. Perhaps you can figure out just how the camouflage works. We could analyze a planet, um, increase science, political ideology. We'll find a technology in 20 turns, but for 10 turns, we lose uh, minus 10 science. Our science is... Um, doesn't say here. I guess we could take a look at our science. We get 98. All right, let's analyze it. Sustainable farms on our home system. Or this is uh, Aquarius is not our home. It is our home system, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's see what we can do here. We can temperate, temperate, hot, cold. So nothing good there. No strategic resources. 30 turns to build that, 10 turns to build that. Once per empire. I think we're going with the transports because it gives us a little more production. Don't care about those planets. Plus 25 research. That's good. And we're on our way. Plus 
was 5% experience. I don't care about the experience so much on this vessel. This planet, Billigelli, we want to colonize. Got some decent planets there, I think. Yay! Eden incense again. Solo quest started. Investigate 10 new curiosities. Discover four systems outside your constellation. If we do this, we get a probe cooldown increase. Or we get scavenge. Scavenge. Or we get mapping, which we need a unique constellation. Cannot get that one. So we only have these two options. The never serve from the academy arrives. Once you discussions are over, we have to employ a hero. You understand we are beings of exceptional power. Yeah. I think the scavenged ram scoop is about the best. Why can't I do mapping? Because there are certain systems that have a unique planet on them, and if you don't have one, you can't pick it. I'm about to get a unique planet, but it's going to be a little bit yet. I'm also in that. So should I wait on the chapter to start it, maybe? I don't know if you can not do that. I think you have to pick right now. Oh. Uh. Out of the blue, literally, a new minor faction has abruptly moved onto one of your planets and has no intention of leaving. Whether they are friendly or not is yet to be discovered, but hopefully the intrusion won't be long. It's up to you to decide how best to treat them. Newcomers, we're gonna eat. I mean, we're gonna splice them. What do you think we're gonna do with them? Welcome to Aquarius. I think we have to have four of them to splice, though. These guys uh, make happy. The little troll-looking dudes, goblins. Um. Yeah, if we splice them, it gives us plus three happiness, but we need, uh... You need to reach a number of four population units to perform this action. Yeah, so we need to grow those guys. Your empire now has a meta resource. Nice. Well, let me end turn without doing anything yet. We're gonna vote for the militarists, offer official support. Looks like the militarists did not win. <laughs> Scientists and ecologists. Yes, that's what I see the cravers being. Absolutely. We can colonize this whole system here now. Ooh, and that one. And most of those. And most of these.
We better conduct some off-world business. We're gonna talk to people even though we don't like them very much. The hardship law is been activated. Enables colonization of Tuluric non-gas plants. However, you'll suffer a 50% penalty without the correct colonization technology. Ooh, that's why that opened up. You chose this one. Probe microfactory. Ugh. I did not choose it. That was forced on me. The atmosphere of this planet has a strange psychotropic effect. When inhaled, the sweet vapor seems to allow the subject to see exactly four seconds into the future. Perhaps a concentrated dose could do more. The force. The inhale. May the force be with me. I found some more Hyperium on the planet that I colonized. That's kind of nice to mistakenly find. Dust load. Found a load of dust. All right. with anomalies. That one place has a ton of anomalies. I've seen plenty of anomalies as well. I think it's an anomaly rich universe. You're an anomaly rich universe. Thank you. I didn't think you'd notice. <laughs> Binary moons plus one population slot. We build that. It'll cost a lot. On a planet, we don't really need... Unless that's the whole... Yeah, it's the planet. Ugh. Sustainability it is. Ash, ash, lava, desert, arid. That's not exactly my idea of a good time. Ice, 15. Oof. Look at the technology screen here. Colonized barren. I don't know how many barren planets I've seen. This would give us access to some actual ship types. Um, colonize ash. Uh, ash is kind of a terrible thing to colonize. 
I did know a girl named Ash once. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> she was cool. I lost touch with her through the years, but uh, she was pretty awesome. Ash, if you're listening, send me a text. <laughs> Look me up again. Let's see. Support modules. Titanium Hyperium probes. That might be nice. Let's do that. Empty queue, which means uh, we can colonize the steps. We're already starting to. Um, strange fossils give us... Pretty good. I think we could do that. It gives us it's kind of balanced here. We do lose a little bit for colonizing it, but um returns and then we'll probably get it. So check our ships for probes. There we got some. Oh, I have a spaceport. <laughs> I don't remember what I did, but I got a spaceport. I got a battle tactic. It's got to be in the science. All right, what'd I do? Antimatter. Villagy here um, has a pretty nice anomaly and then some other stuff in the system is pretty good, so I've got a pretty good planet here, or system here. Small steps. Subterranean curiosity. Yeah, let's look at what's under the dirt. Archaeology! Jadonics again. Keep exploring. He's defending. He's done there. Over here. Ah, the that's how you get it. Which one? The spaceport where you can move people from planet to planet. I figured it out. It's the spaceport. <laughs> it's not. Oh. It's uh, when you go into the uh, financial side. Mm-hmm. You're able to get the uh, the uh, increase uh, colony level or you know system level. You have to build it. You know how you use luxury resources to get yourself bonuses, right? Yeah. And when you build level two, that's when you get the spaceport. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we got to look at the actual tech, probably. Yeah, there. I think that's it. Oh, no. What's it under? Remember what it's called? You mouse over the name of it. Is it just the? Uh... I think it's just. Hang on a second. Architect of Industries. I have Galactic Exchange, and I have Atmospheric Filtration at level two. So I don't know if it's just because I opened up level two, Architect of Industries, or whether I had to. Okay, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out soon. I don't have any spaceports yet. Um, it might, maybe it's level three because I'm on level three over there. Like I said, I, I went for gas giants. Those are cash money. Specialization. Click to select a specialization improvement to develop on this planet. Oh, okay, yeah. We're not going to develop any. Oh, well, the specialization is kind of free thing to do. Exo. On cold, oh, okay, yeah, we're not gonna do that. Don't need to specialize on that nonsense right there. Huh? The negative anomaly, uh oh. Okay, sorry. It's all good, I'm renaming planets. All right. I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. 
um, because we're running over an hour. And uh, yeah, we're expanding a little bit here. We're looking to continue expanding in the near future. And uh, what do you say, Jim? I say that I am slowly but surely building up a great empire that is not going to be consumed. All right. We just uh, had a huge asteroid approach one of my star systems turned into a fragment of a planet that exploded. What do we want to do with it? It's like a summer blockbuster. It's in a team of scientists to research it. That's what I say. You don't want to send in a bunch of oil drillers to put a nuke in the middle of it and blow it up? Um... I would, but then it would shatter and just, like, rain hell on the planet. And, uh... Yeah. Probably lose the oil drillers in the process. Most of them. Except one to probably return home and get the girl. <laughs> Did we actually get tech? Did it say what we got? Oh, maybe next turn. Okay. And decreasing tension in the galaxy lead to increase in price of luxuries. Hey, there it is. All right. Thanks for joining, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take care. See you in the next one. Peace out.